Hey guys, this is Carissa from the Community Library. I'm here today to show you how to do our online reserves. So let me share my screen with you real quick. All right, so this is the library webpage. It's www.clsv.net. And we're gonna go ahead and go down and click my account. This is gonna take you to your library account online. So we're gonna click it and it's gonna open up in a different pop-up page. So the first thing you need to do is you need to put in your barcode. And I know it says barcode or email, barcode works best. And it's just gonna be the set of numbers down here at the bottom of your library card. So I'm gonna go ahead and type mine in. And then you're gonna put your password or PIN number that you set up at the library. Now, if you don't, I think you're wrong. Now, if you don't have a password or a PIN number set up with the library, please feel free to contact us through our Facebook or our webpage through the Contact Us page. We'd be more than happy to help you set one up. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in. And this is my page. It's got some information about me. It's got the items that I currently have on loan and when they're due. It's got my financials. So if like I had a fine or something I needed to pay off, it would be in there. It's gonna have a saved list because you're allowed to make lists. It's also got reserves and that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna go up to the home button and we're gonna click home up near my name there. And this is our library's um, catalog. This is the front page. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through a few of these categories. So we've got our search enter bar criteria where you can just type whatever you're looking for. We've got keywords, which is a drop down. So if you wanted to search by title or you wanted to search by author, subject, series, any of those things you're able to search through. We've got time period, which is within the last seven days, or last 30 days, or in the last 90 days of the newest items that we have. Forms is gonna be things like if you wanted an audiobook, you wanted a regular book, maybe you wanted a CD, you can definitely narrow down your selection that way. Collection, adult fiction, adult nonfiction, DVDs, easy readers, all of those, just to make it a little easier to find the item you specifically want. Now this last one here is really important. This is locations. If you search all locations, you will look at every book that is in both our Sharon Library and our Feral Library. So you would look at every book there. If you are looking specifically for materials that you can find at a specific location, you would need to put in Sharon or Feral. So I'm gonna look at Sharon just because let's say, I would like to get my books at Sharon. So I'm gonna then go to all collections. I'm gonna look for an adult fiction. I want a book. And I'm gonna say, let's look at the new items within the last 30 days. And I'm gonna search. And it pulls up this page here. Um, these are gonna be the newest items from the last 30 days. And I'm gonna go through a couple of items about it, or a couple things about these items. So this first one here, The Boy from the Woods by Harlan Col Coben. Um, this book is in processing, and you can see that down at the bottom, down at the bottom right here where it says processing. Um, that means that the book is not currently available for checkout. It's being prepped for you guys to be able to check out, but you can still reserve the item. If you reserve the item, that means that when that item is ready, you either have been put on a waiting list for it, or maybe you're the first one on the list and you get it right away as soon as it's ready. Um, let's look at the second one here, Devil Sharks. This item is available, and we can see that it's also at Sharon. And we can go ahead, we could click the green button and reserve the item. Let's say I want to know a little bit more about it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. You can click on the picture of the book or the title name, either works. And I'm going to look at this, and it's just a little bit about the information, but really I, what I like is down here, there's a summary. This is going to be like what you would find on like that inside front cover or the back of the book. Just a little bit to tell you about the book. I really like that that's in here. I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to go ahead and reserve the item. And I'm going to say this is probably the most important part. It's going to ask you where you want the book to be picked up at. This is where you are physically going to the library to get the book. You need to make sure that this one says the correct library. So if I look at this and I'm like, oh, I didn't want to go to Feral, I want to go to Sharon to pick this book up, 
you need to change it and mark it as Sharon. And then I'm going to hit submit. And now it tells me that the reserve has been created and that I am number one in the queue, which means I get the book first. There's not a waiting list. And if I go back to my name, it's going to go back to your, your own personal page. And you're going to look at down at reserves. It's going to tell you that the reserve is there when you reserved it. It's going to also tell you the pickup location, this instance being Sharon. That's all there is to it. Let me go ahead and stop this. That's all there is to it. It's not very difficult. If you do have plot problems, feel free to contact the library through our Facebook page or our web page through the contact us and let us know if you're having any issues. We'd be more than happy to help you out, especially if you don't have a pin number for to access your account. Please do let us know. Thank you. Have a great day.